DxO Piero is the newest software by DxO Photolab. It's very powerful and very, very fast. Today in this video, I'm going to show you right now. What this software does is basically trying to replace your demosaicing in Photoshop or Lightroom or any other software. Meaning that if you have a noisy photo with uncorrected lens module, you can actually do everything in this software and then export it in Photoshop, Lightroom, Affinity Photo, Silky Pix and do the rest of the editing there. And before I jump into the tutorial, please take a quick seconds to subscribe. That will help me a lot to grow. Now, let's jump into it. First of all, this is how the software looks like, the interface. Pretty easy and simple. So you have two choices. You can either add photos to the process or you can drag and drop just like you drag your kids to the school. Now I'm going to drag and drop. So I've got a couple of photos here. So one and two. So I'm going to just drag and drop. Pretty easy. Now you have two things. It's going to ask you to download the optics module. Basically is the lens correction with the combo. So my combo is Canon 70D with Sigma 18 to 35. So I'm going to download it. Going to take a few seconds, obviously. And then once it's download, you save it. And you can see that it's already applied to both. Now, what you can do, the second step would be process photos. Once you process photos, you have few choices. Just like in DxO Photo Lab, here you have three noise reduction option, HQ, Prime or D Prime. To be honest with you, both of them are kind of low noise photo. So I'm going to stick with HQ, although I'm very, very, very much wanted to use the D Prime, obviously, because you're paying the price for it. But I'm going to stick with HQ. Once it's done, then second, the output format. So how you want to output it? Obviously, DNG, because it didn't do much of the editing. Only thing you did is noise reduction and lens correction. The third one is the custom folder where you want to save your images. So I'm going to click process. So it's gonna take a few seconds obviously, but less because I only used HQ noise reduction. If I used a deep prime or prime, probably would have taken longer. And also there are only two photos there. If you have more photos, I can guarantee it's gonna take forever. Not forever, but a little bit. So I'm gonna stick with it. And now, here is the interesting part. The processing is done. You can either now directly export to your choice of software. Obviously, Adobe is the famous one, but if you have Capture One, if you have, like me, I personally use Silky Pix Developer Studio Pro. So, Silky Pix users should select custom software. Same goes for the Affinity Photo and export directly there. So I'm not going to do that, but you have that option and you can select Silky Pix, Capture One or Affinity Photo, wherever you want to export other than the Adobe's suite. Now I'm going to cancel it. The softwares, they are done. Now we want to check it out, right? Obviously, because I did, you didn't see any results yet. So I'm going to click one of them, processed. Now, if you want to verify it, you can double click and now you want to check side by side. So I'm going to zoom one on one like that and side by side. So you can clearly see the progress already. So that's the original raw. And after the demosaicing and the noise reduction and the lens correction, this is the result. Pretty dramatic, isn't it? Check this one out side by side. I'm going to show you another one, this one. Let's show this one now. Look at the details on this lizard. You see that? So this is kind of blur. Obviously, it's a raw file. It's supposed to be like that, right? It's, and by the way, let me tell you, this soft, this photo is taken with the Panasonic DMG2000. It's basically a toy camera. It's the cost about 150 euro. And check this one out. Whoa, huge, 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 huge difference. I'm surprised and it's super quick and that's about it. And you can export DNG manually. For example, you can actually manually export it. There you go. The, those are already been saved. You see, that's the CR, CR2 file and that's the DNG version. The CR2, the Canon file is about 28 megabyte. 
and the DNG is about 90 megabyte. Same goes for Panasonic, 14 megabyte, the original one, and the DNG is about 45 megabyte. Right, so I'm gonna leave this on as much as I can so that you can actually see and enjoy at the same time. Now, do you need this software? Personally speaking, if you are already a user of DxO Photo Lab, then no, you don't need the software. If you are using Affinity Photo or Photoshop with the combination of, let's say, Topaz, you don't need it because they do exactly the same thing. And remember, this software does not support Fuji Xtrans files. So all those Fuji users, especially XT1, XT2, XT3, XT20, XT30, this software is quite useless. Do you want it? I'm sure you are because you are a software junkie and whatever you have currently doesn't work for you. Even though they do, but I'm sure they don't. So you're going to want to buy it anyway. But it cost about 120 euro with the discount is about 80 euro. That is to me, my friend, a little too pricey. So personally, am I going to buy it? No. Do I think that is excellent? Absolutely. So I know that you are high on your software needs. So you are definitely going to buy it. So enjoy the software. I'm going to get a drink. Bye bye.